Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 14, Body Plots. And in this we'll do the reverse work, that is the body plot is given like this. And we have to obtain its transfer function h omega. So, uh, to start with, uh, let's revise uh, some of the things that we have learned earlier. First thing, if the slope is going up, or that is the positive slope, then that means this is representing a zero. So keep in mind that a zero always causes an upward turn at a corner frequency. And similarly, if it is going down, that is the negative, then this is represented as pool and it will be represented by 1 over g omega here it was just g omega and to summarize uh, the whole thing uh, we'll take help of this uh, table so if there is a constant k we take 20 log of the k to plot the magnitude we have learned that if the slope is going up that means it is a zero it represents a zero g omega uh, and n is the degree Similarly, if it is going down at the corner frequency or at 1, at omega is equal to 1, then we will write 1 over j omega. Whereas, if it is going up at any other point z, then we will write it as 1 plus j omega over z and power n depending on the degree. And if it is going down at any other point than 1, that is P, then we'll write it 1 divided by 1 plus g omega over P. Now, what is this N? N is the degree. So, like if the power is here 2, then this will become 2 into 2, that is 40 dB, 40 dB up. Similarly, if here is 2, then this will become 40 dB, uh, 40 dB that is 20 into 2, 40 dB down. Okay, so let's go into the solved example that is in the book, but we'll just try to understand it a little more clearly. So given the board plot of figure 14.9, that is this one, obtain the transfer function h omega. Now in the book, he has done it in one step, but I'll try to explain you and then we'll uh, do it in one step as well. Okay, so this is the circuit. Now we'll break down. We'll first of all take this part only and let's see how we can represent. So this is uh, represented like this. Actually, this is combination of two things. One is a constant because that is why it has moved 40 degree up. So that means there is a constant like here. There is a constant at 40 degree and on that is superimposed something which is going up, a curve which is going up with 20 dB per decade and it is crossing the, uh, we call this origin or at point 1 actually. Uh, so this is representing a um, 0. The slope is up so it will represent 0 uh, according to this formula going up so it is 0 and it is at 20 dB per decade. This is given here, 20 dB per decade. So now let's see how it has been explained. We notice that figure that there is a zero j omega at the origin, which should have intersected the frequency axis at omega is equal to one. So this has intersected at omega is equal to one. So and this is zero. And this is indicated by a straight line with slope of 20 degrees. So it is, it is written here that the slope is 20 dB per decade. Now, the fact that the straight line is shifted 40 dB, this 40 dB indicates that there is a 40 dB gain. And we can convert it, the value from log 40 dB is actually means 20 log of k. k is the unknown or the gain that we are trying to find. So, and from here we can uh, find that log 10k is 2 
this coming here, dividing, so 2. And if you take it anti-log, then we can find that k is equal to uh, 10 raised to the power 2 or is equal to 100. So, uh, if we um, write the um, transfer function only for this part, then we can say that for the gain, we get 100 and for the uh, zero circuit, we write it j omega because this is representing j omega. And now we come to the second part of it. Now you see basically what is happening that this, this one which was coming 20 dB going up like this, so 20 dB going up, this has to be neutralized by a 20 dB down so that the line becomes straight here. So to get this line, at this point we have to incorporate a minus 20 dB per decade line and you can see that the slope or the line is going down and minus sign so that means this is representing a pole so a pole p1 with the slope minus 20 db per decade causes a downward turn and counter reacts the zero at the origin so this has counter reacted and the line will be straight the pole at p is equal to 1 is determined by 1 over 1 plus j omega 1. So we, we know this was the formula for pole. So we'll write that. 1 plus j omega 1 p is the point here. p is 1. So for p we write uh, 1. And so our uh, the transfer function will become now this was we already had. So at the denominator we'll write this part 1 plus j omega over 1 so this is up to this part and then we reach here the line has come here let's see the next slide so we reach here and now the line is going down minus 20 db minus 20 db so this is also a pole because it is going down and at which point p is equal to 5 P is equal to 5, it is going down. So the slope is minus 20 dB per decade and therefore the equation will be 1 plus uh, 1 divided by 1 plus J omega over 5 the P. This is the P5. And so our um, transfer function will now look that we add this term here. 1 plus J omega over 5 and finally Okay, now the final part, uh, we are here at P is equal to 20, this point. Now this point is critical, although it is minus 40 dB, it is showing minus 40 dB, but when we uh, write the um, equation for this, we have to keep in mind that this line is already there. This is continuing at minus 20 dB. And so from here to come to minus 40, we are actually adding another minus 20. So instead of minus 40, we are adding um, minus 20 to make it minus 40. So this is important that you keep in mind while writing the equation. Now a third pole at p is equal to 0 with slope, uh, sorry, p is equal to 20 with slope minus 20 dv is causing a further downward. So this is important that this is minus 20 db down and therefore the pole in this case will be 1 divided by 1 plus j omega and divided by two pole point 20 so this is 20 and so our the in the complete equation or the complete transfer function will now be these we already had so we added this term here the denominator part and now we can uh, simplify, we take LCM of all the three. And so our equation would be like this, not 5 and 20 goes up, so it becomes 100, multiply by 100. 
and so it will be g omega 10 raised to the power 4 and the denominator as such and if we write try to write it in terms of s as domain so we replace g omega with s and so this is the final answer so this was a detailed uh, explanation but uh, in the book here directly so we can also uh, do it directly if you look from here this is the uh, zero db line uh, sorry uh, zero line uh, which has plus 20 db per decade slope and we have a constant here so we uh, write that constant as we found out that 40 db is actually means k is equal to 100 and then for zero uh, with 20 db slope we write j omega so it is 100 and j omega then as we explained that for this this line is already continuing so we have to cancel this with the negative slope so minus 20 db at point 1 so this will become our uh, the denominator part for the pole and similarly here there is uh, at p is equal to 5 p is equal to 5 there is another slope of minus 20 so we write that is uh, uh, 1 plus j omega divided by 5 and at 20 then there is another slope of minus 20 so it is 1 plus j omega divided by 20 and then you get this answer it is the same that we got and you can now uh, write it in uh, s domain as well by replacing j omega with s Okay, now let's come to the practice problem, exactly same technique, but I'll again go into the details first and then we can summarize it quickly. So this is the circuit. First part is, you know, it's constant, 40 dB, so it's the same value that we get in the previous answer. So just like solving, K is equal to 100, and so our transfer function will be 100 divided by we don't know unknown as yet okay so now uh, we are at the second part from 5 to 10 we can see that the slope is going up that means this is representing uh, 0 and at the starting point is z is equal to 5 so according to this formula for 0 we write was j omega over z that is 5 and um, uh, at 0 z is equal to 5 the slope of 20 db and therefore this is represented by 0 the, uh, with the formula 1 plus j omega over 5 and so our uh, transfer function will now become as this this was already uh, we got it for the constant and this is for the 0 and now we move to the third part so here again like the previous example you can see this was already going up so to counter react or to balance we have to have a slope downward with the 20 db uh, so that we get the straight line here so that means we have to add a pole this is going down means it is representing a pole so we have to add a pole at p is equal to 10 and so for that we write equation 1 plus uh, j omega over 10 this is the formula so we just write the denominator part and the denominator remember the starting point is 10 so we are writing 10 here and now uh, the final point here now this line is going down 40 db uh, and therefore for this wheel this is also representing a pole at p is equal to 100 with 40 db so now note here that the value will be 1 divided by 1 plus j omega divided by the p point 100 but since this is 40 db not 20 db uh, so therefore for n we'll write 2 so it will be square and so we write the bottom part and the denominator of h omega and here also now if we take uh, the commons or you can say the LCMs of each term and then we multiply 
solving we get this portion and if you put j omega is equal to s then this is the answer in terms of a s domain so i hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve this type of a problem now instead of all these steps we could here also go directly and you know uh, like here we write for this we write uh, 100 so we write 100 this is going up that means it is a zero at z is equal to 5 so for zero we'll write 1 plus j omega over 5 and then here as we saw that this has to be balanced so we got to have a negative slope so there will be pole at uh, p is equal to 10 and this pole is again 20 dv so at p is equal to 10 the pole is uh, s divided by 10 actually it is 1 over uh, s divided by 10 but f uh, sorry from here uh, 1 plus j omega over 10 this is the pole and here again there is another pole with minus 40 db so for that pole we write a square and the starting point is uh, 100 so p is equal to 100 so and here from here we can directly get the answer so i hope you can follow this and understand this uh, let me have your feedback thank you